So I would like to show my current setup. Uh, this is my 2005 Range Rover Vogue and I have connected the Raspberry Pi uh, version 3 into the composite input of the back of the head unit and I access the signal by accessing the diagnosis menu. So there's a video while driving. And the audio is actually connected through this uh, Bluetooth adapter, which is connected to the auxiliary input through an uh, iPod 30 pin connector and a power adapter from 12 volt to 5 volt and a standard uh, Bluetooth adapter. Um, so, uh, audio is set up through Kodi, Bluetooth output from Raspberry Pi. Here's the Raspberry Pi. See, only uh, power and the video is connected. So um, now I'm going to access the menu here and uh, actually there's a very handy official Kodi remote control that goes through the Wi-Fi and I'm tethering Wi-Fi from the iPhone to the Raspberry Pi. So it uh, kills two birds with one stone. Uh, I give the Raspberry Pi internet connection, which I'll demo soon, and I get to control it over the HTTP protocol through the remote control. So now let's test the uh, video and audio and the remote control and the tethering by loading a video from YouTube. And I've already set up the YouTube add-on. So just access the add-on. Let's see here. Uh, I have some predefined searches. Let's, uh, let's try uh, a series I used to watch when I was a child and load it and see how that goes. Now it should tether through the phone here. So, okay, here we have all the search options. Airwolf theme, let's see how it goes. Okay, that went quite well. Uh, let's load something else. Um, let's try a Norwegian old uh, pop song that's quite famous. Let's see here. I'm loading Aha Take On Me. Let's see how that goes. Straight from YouTube through the iPhone. Again. Loading and there it is. Okay, so that was a basic demo showing this uh, setup and uh, well, here's the weather straight from the internet also. So there you have it, Raspberry Pi 3 connected to the Range Rover 2005 with touchscreen. Obviously the touchscreen interface is not working but that doesn't really bother me because I have the great remote control on the smartphone which I keep here anyway, so it's quite neat. Thanks for watching, bye bye.